in New Orleans, we have a major American city underwater. It's been almost a decade since Hurricane Katrina wrought havoc on America's Gulf Coast. In New Orleans alone, hundreds of thousands of people were displaced. Almost overnight, the homeless population quadrupled. Basically, New Orleans is a city of poverty-stricken people, so you can imagine how even more the poverty is going to be now. Today, too many people walking these streets still have no place to call home. Like this man, they sit curbside, begging to get by. Sir, how are you doing? I'm hungry. This Good Samaritan brings him in for a meal at Pier 424 Restaurant. Here's 20, I just wanna get him something good to eat. But Andy, our bartender, tells him he has a strict policy. You know, on second thought, I can't have you in here. I got regular customers here. This isn't a soup kitchen, this isn't a homeless shelter. Denied service simply because he's homeless. What would you do? Hey, Miss, how you doing? Hi there, I'm well, Great. how are you? you wanna grab a seat? Uh, I'm good, actually. I saw him outside, so I just wanted to make sure he gets a good meal and everything. Okay? Yeah. Yes. Oh. That is so beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. I just wanted to say Oh, I appreciate that. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you. Already, Holly Torres finds it touching. But Andy can't believe it. I mean, look, he's, he's homeless, he smells, I don't want him bothering you, we have the out-of-towners here. It's not good for business. You know, these, these people came from Wisconsin, I don't think they want to eat next to a homeless person. And it doesn't matter, he's still in That's all it takes. Immediately, she goes to find a manager. It turns out she has a special connection to homelessness. Because I've been there, you know. And you've been there? Yeah, if I didn't find my own place, like, I would have been where he is. But Gabriel is about to be back out on the streets. Just get up, get your stuff and go. It's uncomfortable, and this couple can't seem to watch. She, she gave me that money, though. Don't make me say it again. Get your sign. Here you back. On his way out, he passes Holly, who's still pleading on his behalf. She gave him money to get him something to eat. Why can't he eat? Well, you know, I gotta support my bartender, man. I'll support him on that one, 100 yeah. percent With her voice falling on deaf ears, Holly leaves, heartbroken and distraught. We catch up with her down the street. How are you, ma'am? Hi, I'm John Quinones. Oh, my God! <laughs> I'm sorry we put you through that. You did, Emma. I'm, like, shaking. You were homeless yourself. In Houston, I was homeless. Somebody I slept at Herman Park. You've been on those shoes? Yes. But what about that couple watching it all unfold on the other side of the bar? They put you in an awkward position. It would have been okay, but I was also happy to see someone was standing up for us as a customer. Did you feel it was your role to tell him something? No, I felt it was better to stay out of the whole situation. I felt I should have said something, that it was okay, that it didn't bother well, me. Well, we did say it was okay. You weren't going to stop him from kicking him out? No. No. That I wouldn't have done no matter how ugly and insulting Andy's comments get, there are some who feel it's just not their place to step in. I should not be allowed to get in here, and he won't, because he won't serve me. I don't make the rules, man. What are you saying? I'm not saying anything. I'm saying I don't, I don't make the rules on that, you know? I'm really sorry about this. this nah, is... all good, dude. You need to go. Even when Andy keeps the money and kicks Gabriel out. Can I have my money back, please? No, just go. You have to treat me like that, man. That's not right. He doesn't say a word. We roll again. Sorry, I didn't, this doesn't usually oh, happen. Okay. Having that's awesome. Homeless guy in here. All good. Makes me a little uncomfortable personally. Uncomfortable? Right away, this man is visibly shaken, angered by Andy's intolerance. Look at him, though. It doesn't matter, man. It's, it's fine. It's, look, I, I don't want you bothering these customers. Pissing me off. He's not like the rest of us. 
You, you're not like the rest of us, dude. Well, are you like not human? Or is something wrong with you? Like, I want to leave. He tries to kick Gabriel to the curb again. It's relax, man. It's all good. But these two are not about to let that happen. Hey, whatever you want. Hold her head, whatever else. Just take a seat. You do that for me? When Andy turns around, he's now serving a party of three. Are you kidding me? You want this guy next to you? Yeah, I do. And I don't want you next to me. You want some food, Andy? Yeah, that, that'd be great. Phil makes sure Gabriel is getting a meal, even if that meal is his own. Hi, guys. Time to meet this very generous couple. Oh, God. <laughs> I got so angry. I got so angry. You invited him to sit next to you. Yeah. Absolutely. You see someone treat someone like that, you know, makes one cry. I you know there's a, there's a right and a wrong way to talk to people. And yeah. uh, that was definitely the wrong way. And this next woman immediately tries to teach Andy the right way. What he's gonna do, he has his money there. What do you want, what do you order? Just, just a burger, just a burger. Fix him a burger and get it over with. Andy, and it's, it's all right. right. It's okay, Andy, it's, it's cool. You probably can't even read the menu. There's no pictures on it. He just ordered a burger. <laughs> he said, Andy, where are you from? Oh, you want him to right outside? Bring me the food, you got the payment. Bring me the food and I'll give it to him. Gabriel will take anything, even a glass of water. Can I just get some water and, and I'll go? There's a hose outside. Oh. And if, if you want some food, there's a dumpster in the back. Uh, and for Rebecca not kid, that is the last straw. Andy, I can't believe you did that. I don't want to eat here. I can't believe you invite the man to a damn dumpster. Here, let me pay for this drink. Look what you've done to these ladies. He ain't did nothing. You have done it, Andy. I'm really disappointed. Why are you helping a homeless I, guy? Because he's a human being. A man? That's a homeless man. Andy, bum. he's human. What do you want? Don't understand. He doesn't look like us. He looks like a bum. This is my top left, though. Guess what, Andy? At one time, people who looked like us were slaves. Come on. Give me my cup. Let me go. Let me go. Let me I go. wasn't calling him a slave. Me, you, you call him a, a, a non-person? That's the same thing, a non-person. You, you want me to you get the manager? You are to me off. Such a strong, heartfelt condemnation of Andy's comments. Hi there. Time to meet this courageous woman. Oh, oh, God. Tell us what you were thinking. He's a man down on his luck. You know, that could be anybody. What do you want people to learn from this? To treat everybody the same. To treat everybody like they need respect, or they deserve respect. Since Katrina, there was a lot of heartache and yeah. homelessness. And still is. Still a lot of homelessness. I want you to meet Gabriel. He's an actor, too. He was a great actor. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Oh Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to get that burger for you. We're just going to fight for you. On this day, the good people of New Orleans, willing to give our homeless man a meal, and so much more. <laughs>